Hey there, I'm Jenna with Databox, and welcome to another episode of Data Sense. Today we're talking landing pages. Whether you're investing time and resources into content and SEO, or you rely heavily on paid search and paid social, all that website traffic won't mean much if the landing pages you're driving traffic to aren't converting well. That's because landing pages should be designed to encourage your visitor to take action. Once the visitor takes the action they're called to do, whether it's a purchase or someone signing up for your email list, we call that a conversion. And if your landing pages aren't converting, then you aren't moving prospects through your funnel, which means less sales and less revenue. You can see now why it's so important to track and analyze the performance of your landing pages. Today, we're gonna to be building a dashboard together that will show you how to discover how well your landing pages are converting overall, your most successful landing pages split up by your end goal, which will help you figure out what's working, and how to create a visual pipeline view of how your landing pages are performing at each stage of the customer journey from site visitor to buyer so that you can identify where the holes are in your proverbial bucket. All right, I'm gonna meet you inside the Databox app and let's get started. All right, I am inside the Databox app. The first thing I'm gonna do is navigate to the Databox designer here and I'm gonna use HubSpot marketing as my data source. If you use a different marketing tool, don't worry, you'll still be able to follow along. Adding metrics is super easy. Just start by choosing the data source from the metrics library here on the left. Then you can drag and drop some of the available pre-built metrics, which is what we'll do. The main metrics I wanna be able to visualize today are going to be landing page conversions, landing page views, landing page customers, and landing page submissions. These are gonna serve as our basic metrics for the thorough landing page analysis that we're gonna end up with. With Databox, you can choose how you wanna visualize your metrics. And like I mentioned at the start, I wanna be able to actually see how my landing pages are performing through the customer journey, AKA the path a customer would take when they go from a total stranger to a customer so that I can start developing high level strategies to address any issues we find. So in a little bit, I'll go into the different forms these strategies can take, but let's get this dashboard built first. So we go to visualization types right here and choose pipeline. Then we're gonna add each metric we wanna see along that pipeline. These will go in order of the steps a customer would take through a funnel, according to how HubSpot categorizes them, right? So we've got landing page views, and I'm selecting, like I said, HubSpot marketing. This is the total number of views across all of my landing pages for the specified date range, and this will naturally be the biggest number. Then we have landing page submissions, which means of those views, how many form submissions I received. So this could be any HubSpot marketing form that's on your website, really. And it could include multiple forms submitted by the same person. Then we have landing page contacts, which counts the total number of HubSpot marketing contacts that were created from those submissions. So this number could be equal to or smaller than the number of landing page submissions, right? Since one contact could potentially fill out and submit multiple forms. And finally, landing page customers, meaning of those that viewed a landing page, submitted one or multiple forms and became a contact, who became a customer. In simple words, who bought something from you? So a little later on, we'll discuss why the pipeline visualization works best for obtaining some insights, but for now, let's keep building the dashboard. So after this, I want to add an additional visualization for the average landing page conversion rate across all of my pages just so I could have the number in front of me every time I glance at the board. So going over to metrics library again, choosing landing page conversion, and I'm gonna drop that right in. I'll also add a trend line visualization of that same metric. This will help me see any peaks or valleys that occurred during a specific time period. So that way I can kind of dig in and investigate further if something looks a little off. 
And finally, I will add comparison charts for landing page views. Landing page submissions. And customers. So now I can easily see which pages are the top performers in each category. Okay, we've got it built. Now it's time to look closer at the metrics and see what they're telling us. Let's start with landing page conversion. Okay, so as we're looking at this number here, I know the first thing you're probably gonna wanna know is what's a good landing page conversion rate, right? Well, the average landing page conversion rate can land somewhere between two to 6%, depending on your industry. And while the average across all industries is just 4.2%, beyond that, it can vary somewhat dramatically depending on the goal of the landing page itself. So it's important that you determine what a good conversion rate is based on where you're at now and your overall business goals, not a random industry benchmark. The second visualization here is meant to just draw your eyes to the current conversion rate for the set time period each time you glance at the dashboard. Like I mentioned before, if you see a bump or a dip along the trend line, now you have a date range you can investigate a little more thoroughly. Next, let's look at landing page views and landing page customers. The first metric shows us how many times each landing page has been viewed and which ones have gotten the most views. This is an important insight. It can help you manage the performance of the campaigns that are driving traffic to this page. The second metric provides us with the number of landing page customers per landing page during the specified date range. Of course, we want these numbers to be closer together as we convert visitors who view the page into customers. And that is why we've created the comparison visualization so we can see how close or apart these two metrics are for a specified date range. Now we move on to landing page submissions. With this data, we can see which CTA works the best on your landing page and which type of content is getting the most leads or form submissions. This can help you format more effective landing pages across the board. And finally, the landing page pipeline. The pipeline visualization is a great way to see the journey from a visitor viewing the page all the way to the customer. You can easily determine at which point in the journey you lose the most prospects so that you can take proper steps to improve the retention and see your visitors get all the way to becoming customers. So after all this analysis, you might be wondering what you can do to improve your landing page conversion rates. CRO or conversion rate optimization strategy is an entire marketing discipline and there's a ton of great information out there, but here's just a few places that you can start. One, use one call to action. Each landing page should ideally use one call to action throughout the entire page. You can add that call to action as many times as you'd like and in as many formats as you'd like, such as a form field, a text link, a linked image, or a button, but it should always be the same call to action. This reduces confusion and increases the likelihood of getting that conversion. Number two, add social proof. People wanna know that you're someone they can trust. Testimonials, customer quotes, and real customer reviews are all great social proof that tells the person on your landing page that you're the real deal. Three, try mixing up your media. Images and videos can help to increase conversion rate by making your landing page more interesting and interactive. And this is just the start. As you build on your strategy, keep coming back to this dashboard to check in on your progress and find what's most effective for your customer. All right, that's it for today. Conducting a thorough landing page analysis will help you get insights into the success of your approach. So knowing exactly which landing pages attract the most views and then result in the most form submissions and conversions will help to create a more effective campaign and one that can help you reach your end goals. You'll also be able to quickly identify landing pages that underperform so you can make the adjustments needed to improve your conversion rates. 
If you need help tracking and visualizing your thorough landing page analysis, our support team can help build the dashboards you need for free to help you get started. Head on over to this page or just click the link that pops up in the video. And I will see you next time.